In this video, we will check if entry is a number by catching an invalid argument exception. This is the code that we, this is some of the code that we have from the previous video where we declared a string variable and stored that into a value string. And then we asked the user to enter a number and stored that number into the variable, the string variable. We then converted that string value into a, an integer using this toy function and display that to the user. Now let's compile this code and, and execute it and run it. And let's just see that this program works nicely if we do enter a number. But what happens if we actually put in some string? In this case, an exception is actually thrown and that exception is called invalid argument. Now I'm gonna copy this, this exception and we'll try and catch that one. I don't need the std part because I've actually got the namespace there. Um, so let's let's try the code that could possibly throw an exception. This is the line that causes the exception to happen. So we're gonna surround that with a try and catch block. Now, if this goes successful, it means that if it reaches this line, it means that it is actually a number that was entered by the user. So we can say entry is a number because that's the purpose of the video. We want to check if it is a number or not, right? So let's just um, close this off and we close our try. And now what we'll do is we'll try to catch the error and print a message to the user using the catch. Now what we're trying to catch here is this exception. You also need to include this library, std except for exception, for this to work. So we we catch the exception over here as a constant, and uh, because we're not going to modify the object, we also want to catch the exception uh, by reference, and then we can give it whatever name. I'm just going to call it e, and we'll open and close. And over here we can tell the user. The entry is is not a number. Not a number. Now let's compile first. Make sure we haven't got any problems there, and let's let's run it. So now, if we say test one two three, we say we we got a, a better way of instead of crashing in the user's face, we have a um, a more graceful way of of telling the user that something has gone wrong. And uh, the other thing that you can do is to identify the cause of the exception. We can use the what uh, the what method. So error caused by, and we can access the what method through the object that exception. And let's compile. I should have compiled and ran at the same time. Let's test one, two, three, four. And so now we get entry is not a number, errors caused by story. Um, so this has come from the what function and I should have had an end line there. And this program works perfectly fine in the case you actually give it a number. It means it did not have to go through the catch block and has actually executed this line nicely and this didn't have to happen. So I hope this helps you with working with exceptions and another way of checking whether the entry entered was a number or not. So I'll catch you in the next one.